everybody it's Tamika and I decided to uh, turn the camera on my messy desk um, to chat with you guys I am going to I am in the midst of putting together my um, thank you gift sets you know I'm gonna go grab something real quick this is raw and uncut but hopefully y'all can hear me <clears throat> I'm in the midst of putting together uh, thank you gifts for people you know I've received quite a few um, racks and I am very grateful and appreciative for all the ladies for uh, sending me such nice things and being very thoughtful and stuff so I just want to say thank you I can't pay back all of what they've given but I definitely can just send a little thank you which is what I'm doing now so I thought I'd turn the camera on to record it maybe inspire you guys to just send out some happy mail to somebody um, my goal is to send out at least one thing a month to somebody I do have a list of uh, addresses that um, you know people have sent just over the time or things that I wanted to just give um, some stuff to to people so I'm gonna be working off of that list I also have the Rolodex swap that we did that I have not yet um, made the the little book for so I mean not the little book the little tray which I'm gonna do that that's gonna be super easy maybe I'll record that um, too but it's just really a box a long rectangle that I'm gonna make for the Rolodex cards um, to start keeping those now I have locked myself out of my glue so right now I'm just looking for something sharp to put in it so this is a for real come and chat and craft with me this would have been nice if I would have went um, live but as soon as I hear <laughs> as soon as I see that little dot flash and I get all kinds of weird and I be like hold on let me just calm down so it's better that I record it and upload it right that way I can edit out all my oops <laughs> like my husband possibly coming in from work on his break yelling stuff you know and he doesn't know I'm live and you know even when I tell him you know like when he calls and he and and you know he'll ask me what I'm doing it's like well, I'm getting ready to do a video um, so he's like well okay I'm gonna pull up in about you know 20 minutes or so if I'm getting to that video he will just yell down the stairs, hey babe. And I'll be like, oh my God. Y'all don't know how many times. <laughs> if you ever go back to my videos and you see like a random cut, like why does she cut right there? That's that's because more than likely he came downstairs um yelling something. <laughs> and if you know him, he's he's a funny, uninhibited character. So I have to sometimes monitor what goes what goes on and him speaking out in these videos I'm like wait a minute like he'll often say um okay let me this is a live yeah I mean not live but a come and chat with me but it's not really because I'm just working and y'all just kind of sitting with me you just you're just coming and sitting and chatting with me that's what we're doing we're crafting and chatting so if you um if you got some stuff that you need to do pause this video go on ahead and collect your items if you need to craft you need something to keep you busy because I will in a minute pull up a YouTube video while somebody else is crafting and craft to my heart's content because I feel like I'm in a room with them yeah girl girl don't no, shoot I, I'm talking all to the computer but that person's not physically there but in my head we're sitting next to each other having coffee so go on and get your stuff and come on and uh, craft and chat with me that was your exit that was your pause moment to go craft and get your stuff and then come back so we're gonna pause it do 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 okay so anyway uh, back to what I was saying he'll always say you should go live come on let's go live on your YouTube channel <laughs> or let's go live on Facebook let's go live on Instagram I was like babe first of all nobody knows you on Instagram okay nobody knows you that's my channel and they are my friends so no and then um, Facebook yeah a lot of people know of him on Facebook because I share a lot of things about the family and stuff on my Facebook page and then some of you guys know him on uh, YouTube if you follow me on Facebook you know so I'll be like mm, nah mm, nah nah I'll try to ease in a little bit of 
Robert, or what is his name? What is his name? What name did he make up? Scrap the block? I think it's Scrap the block. Um, I try to insert that here and there because some of you guys be like, where's Scrap the block? And I'd be like, mm, he's hibernating right now. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I just have to monitor him sometimes. That's why we need to get on ahead and uh, get this um, vlog channel going. But the thing is, this is the big holdup. Robert seems to think <laughs> that he can just be unfiltered. And he don't know YouTube. YouTube will snatch you off your channel in a minute. So you can't just be yourself all the way 100. Because people who know us personally, that are YouTube friends, you know, that I met on YouTube or they know us or we have conversation or, you know, just talk about our life personally together they know no rob needs to be scripted a little bit he needs to be on some type of script script plan in order to in order to make this work in order to make this work like that's a big hold up we've created the channel um and there's 14 subscribers and there's no videos but there's 14 subscribers so thank you to those 14 who are looking forward to a rob and tamika content i think it's called just us um, it's been so long, but it's called just us. I'm, I'm for sure of it. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm using the Prima, uh, Tales of You and Me paper on here because, um, I made some clips and I posted them on Instagram. See, I don't know when this video was going up, but this post was maybe three, four days ago. Um, so follow me on Instagram. You I post a lot of, not weird, but I post a lot of not scrap the world stuff over there. Just random things that I post that's funny. Um, and little things that I do over there. Um, so yeah, follow me if you're if you're interested in that kind of thing. Or don't. But um, I posted these a few days ago. And I have not gotten around to making the back backing for them. Because I had to stickle them. Because what I posted... Um, they were raw. They just, I just did them on my lunch break. I took like this, some flowers, some clothes, pens, some glue, that's it, and some leaves and, um, put them on my Facebook. I mean, uh, did them on my lunch break. I don't have a lot of time. I gotta, you know, I gotta get some eating in there too. So I only can bring little projects, but I'll post that on Instagram. I'll record it real quick and post it on Instagram. And, uh, so yeah originally what I was going to say was this is these clothespins these are those clothespins that I posted a couple days ago I just didn't do the the base for them because I wanted to stickle them so they were, they're all nice and dry okay and now they're ready to be placed in the bag because I'm making some thank you bags for all the nice ladies that took some time to send me stuff or say something nice or you know it's just random I'm starting I'm starting from the bottom like stuff I should have did like a year ago or so so but yeah that's my goal is to um, get something out to somebody at least once a month it will make me feel better period I will get rid of some of my stash that I hoard period I will craft with a cause Ah, that's cool. Crafting with a cause. That's awesome. Um, and um, ding, 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 ding. I just had a thought. Super cool thought. But um, I'm going to take a moment to write that down because, you know, my mind is short sometimes. I will forget it. Write this down real quick because, hmm, I just thought of something. Can't tell you yet, but you will see it. Okay. See, you guys inspire me. I am just chit chatting because nobody's here. But yeah, it will get get some stuff out of my stash. I will make me feel happy. I get to craft, and then maybe somebody else will be happy, and maybe somebody else will be inspired. So it's a five in one type of deal. So hopefully this video editing won't be too too long. I'm not going to do all of these at the same time. I'm just going to pack a few and show you guys or whatever. But 
it just takes a long time to save when this video gets to be like an hour hour and a half oh gosh the saving is an hour then the editing is another long time and then the uploading is even longer so and me I just want to get it up honey I just want to be like oh look what I made boom done on the internet but it doesn't work like that I'm impatient and I don't like waiting I know that's the same thing but I just have to reinforce it and by me saying it in a different way reinforces it even more so so that's why some of you say oh she's a fast crafter no I just want to see the end result I just want to I just want to be done with it so I can move on to something else because my mind has so many ideas that I write them all down see that's why I have that notebook you see how I have that notebook and that pen like right there I jot it down in that notebook because I when I'm thinking of it I, I usually am thinking on the go I have a small little notebook that I keep in my purse a little small one um, just it really is just a notebook and I decorate it just nothing so what I do with that and I have a couple of them um, so when it gets full or when it gets empty I will exchange it what I mean by empty is I'll write the little note on it and I wherever I am I'll rip it out and then I'll put it just place it in my planner so when I get to my planner I have a post-it note uh, post-it note section and a designated dart uh, dashboard where I put all my ideas on and then let me show you hold on you're gonna cry for me today child. don't be trying to steal my ideas either if I see any of these videos up on YouTube I'm gonna leave a comment with a smirk and that's gonna say mm -hmm, you were watching my video you saw that so <laughs> I'll take my little idea and I will literally just put it in my planner like right here these are little ideas I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open them up because some of those are my my rack people that I'm putting on here but I'll put him on this right here Let's see I'm not gonna show you bling 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 but it's two things of post-it notes and they have to somehow fit into me doing them and put them and put them get them scheduled get them on the docket all right get them on the docket so I'll put them transfer over to the post-it note and I'll be like videos that I want to do or something that I want to show and they are on that dashboard so when I open up my thing every day or <laughs> who am I kidding it's not every day it's like eight times a day but when I open it up I see that every day to make them make the Rolodex, Rolodex is even on there get your lazy butt <laughs> and make the dang rectangle box so your Rolodex can get out of the clear bag like seriously <laughs> you know stuff like that so I obviously need to put some more pop dots on this so I'm just putting pop dots on the back of here to give it some height so that I can put the clothes pins on there but yeah I forgot what I was saying because I'm just randomly chatting but which amazes me because there's no one here and there's no one I'm not talking live so it's a little weird that I am sitting at the desk talking to myself essentially but y'all are here I can hear you if you hear me say hey <laughs> oh gosh you think I am drinking but I'm not well I'm drinking but it's not anything that is alcoholic I'm drinking a non-alcoholic beverage I have my Perrier's which are my absolute hands down most favorite water in the whole wide world because I stopped drinking cola probably two years ago pop soda soda pop cola all of it a very long time ago so I switched over to carbonated water to fill that void I'm gonna scoop these little things over to fill that void of needing carbonation so so there we go um and Perrier 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 that water is the freshest and I love it okay I'm gonna scoot this one over these little um, oh you guys can't see me these little dots what do you call these foam dots are larger than the other ones I used so they're wider rather so I'm gonna scoot them over so that I can allow some extra room for the clothes pin to actually fit to actually do the purpose it was intended to do which is hold these clothes pins all right so <clears throat> I got my darn it 
I got my hot glue over here going. And I'm just going to put that right there to hold these bad boys up. These are so cute. I love making these. Absolutely. All right. Excuse me. All right. For this one, I'm going to put this over here. Actually, I can start off by cutting it in half since they're longer, uh, wider than I'd like. I'm just cutting them in half. But I've already done three of these bags, so I mean three of these clothespins. I just was too short. I needed, I wanted to make five, so I'm sending out thank yous in this particular batch for this thing as five. But I'm also sending out five other little gifts too as well. You'll hopefully I can get done with all of that today and you'll see it at the end. Otherwise you'll just see like what I sent instead of what I did. If that makes sense. Oh, here it is. We'll use this one. But yeah, you guys are super generous. I mean, I really, really appreciate it. So any of these Gosh darn it. Ladies who gets any of, of you know this, I'm just saying thank you again. I know that most of you said don't send anything back. You don't need to blah blah blah. I'm listening, but even if I'm not sending the equivalent of what you sent, I just want to send something. My mama and my grandma always said that. Please. My grandma would be turning her her head in her grave and she knew, girl, you didn't send you didn't say thank you. I was like, um, well, they said don't pop. We didn't play. Well, they didn't play, rather. It was instant whack. Whack-a-mole. Real, <laughs> real live whack-a-mole. All right. So that's going to go one, two, three. Really cute. Look how gorgeous those are. They're so cute. All right. I'm going to put those in some... Just some plastic bags. Hopefully this will fit. And then I'm going to put just a little topper on it. Please fit. So I got to get up again on these people. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Hold on. I think I got a bigger one over here. That's too big. Let's try these. I got clear bags everywhere because I'm always packaging up something, whether it's a a swap or I'm, I'm sending something out uh, from my Etsy shop. I like to keep these. And before I was getting them at Tuesday morning, excuse me, I was getting them at Tuesday morning, but I found them on Amazon and I was super happy about it it's like what so <clears throat> the links will be down below if you're interested I've been having them down there for a while ever since I found out about it okay that works these are cute these can go on uh, any type of project you could put magnets behind some of them already have magnets on there not these um because i don't have any more but you can always put yourself a little magnet on it and put it on your fridge or use this as a chip bag holder in your craft room because y'all know we snack while we crafting i got my water and my <laughs> mango chipotle macadamia nuts yes thank you linda Linda, who is El Fondu. So I'm going to grab another sheet of this paper. I'm going to grab this one. And I'm just going to fold it over. Okay. Not at all. And then I'm going to cut it. We need to cut it. Okay. And then, let's see, 
how would that work? Well, that's going to be upside down anyway, so I don't need to cut that off. Okay, then I'll just do it this way. It's all freehand over here, baby. See? That's what happens when you brag a little bit. When you start growing crooked lines. There we go. Y'all like my nails? I think they're super cute, even with my hands being a little stubby. But I sent the picture in. I brought a picture in. Let me see if I have it on. I took a picture into the nail shop lady, my nail tech. Her name is Cindy. She, um, she does a really good job of doing my nails. Um, so I sent a picture to her. I mean, I showed her the picture. And I was like, do you think you can do these? I showed her two pictures, actually. She said no to the first one. <laughs> She's like, no. Next. <laughs> I was like, well, what about this one? And it was really cute. They were opaque. Like, they were different. The pinker ones were more opaque. This was like a really shimmery silver, this middle one here. And this one was a polka dot one, which is what it is. Less gray. But it's similar. Like, if the picture is a 10, this is about a 7.5. It's similar. It's a knockoff, like, you know, a knockoff, like a Louboutin knockoff. It's like, eh, it's leather, but mm, not so much. You know what I mean? You can get away with it with the naked eye, but mm, don't pull up close. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. So, yeah. I think she did a great job of trying, but I'm going to have to find myself a, a urban nail shop if I want some cute stuff because I really wanted to get some oh, dark on it some stiletto nails you ever heard heard about those they're really sharp pointy really cute and shape or some there's some also some coffin nail designs so but that first one is what I really was what I really wanted and I needed a feel so bad y'all seen them last few videos nail was was right here <laughs> this much gap I was like oh my gosh because when I came back from LA <laughs> I like saying that like I'm <laughs> like I'm in the movie the I'm a theater I'm in the theater I'm an actress which is what I wanted to do when I was little when I grew up I was in tons of plays I even worked with some actors that were directors back then that are big name actors right now so um but you know I got married got pregnant <sighs> that was it but um Every time I say that, I feel like I'm in the theater. So, yeah. I just got back from L.A. And, um, <coughs> you know. No, I'm just kidding. I was, I got my, done, my nails done right before I left. And then um, we were gone for like four days. And then a week later, they were just freaking six inches long. Uh, so, I was like, how did that happen? But I had to do the swap videos. You know, you just kind of get back into your routine. And I was looking at them nails every day until one day. Child, I was doing that cabinet um, redo that I posted on my Instagram. I was cleaning out my kitchen cupboards, which I thought was going to be a one-hour job. and ended up being a longer job than I expected. Um, I was cleaning out my cupboards, and I grabbed the handle, and one of them long nails didn't come back with me when I let the handle go, and it pulled it, it pulled it back. Oh my, the pain! I was like, "Oh, these are getting done tomorrow." I went right after work, work clothes and all. Everybody in there was all, "How's your, how's your Friday? How's your mm -mm, weekend? Looking all cute." Uh, -uh. I, I had on my work clothes, sweater, tank top work pants like please do these nails like now <laughs> so anyway that's all packaged and ready to go so what else do I have to do I'm trying to do like the little bit so I can just pack you know what am I trying to say um assembly assembly line make like a little assembly line these cute little boxes come in handy so much. At first I was like, I got these off of Amazon. And I think they were in a pack of 100. And I was like, dang it, I only need like 10. Like how many, how much am I going to send? And I really got this because I was doing kits. Um, 
and I will be getting back to doing kits. I was thinking of doing a project. Y'all know I am all over the place. Like, seriously. I hope y'all can keep up. But I was thinking of doing a project of the month and having a kit to correlate with it and then doing a tutorial with that. So, I don't know if that sounds interesting or is that just played or whatever. But, I like doing the kits. But anyway, I was doing the kits and I did this calendar kit. And I thought it would be cool if I was package if I would package them up in these cute little boxes. Now I'm putting tape on these because I like to reinforce these little notches. Otherwise, I just keep going back. Oh, or I could hot glue it. But they have a little notch in here that you put it in here and it's supposed to stay. But because I know that the things that I'm packing in here will make it, um, you know. Uh, bend a little bit it won't be flat like it's supposed to be that these little snippet things will come off so I'm just adding a little tape to that okay so let's see I got oh I know what I had to do next I gotta put some more what did I do I had to put some of these things in these um what do you call this? Doodads in some of these pouches. Did you get a chance to put these in there? Let's see here. Uh, no. I don't know. Um. So yeah, I gotta put some more, some more doodads in this, in these things. I got a little bag of doodads here, and I'm just gonna grab and place literally in the container and these are sour cream containers I don't know if this video was up when I do this video or not or these are sour cream containers or uh, treat boxes that I got from the cutting cafe so they are super cute all right let's put that in there the clip back on there look how adorable that is I just love these so I just need to fill these and I'm gonna grab let me see some more little doodads in here oh that sounds real rich don't it it feels like pennies are in there but it's not so I'm actually just grabbing like a handful of my doodads because I have them in these bags I'm just going to put them in here. It's beads and pearls and charms and resin pieces. It's all kinds of stuff in here in the doodad bag. Stuff that I collect that I think the recipient will like. Alright. See? Just do that. And then, so I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Cute. Let's see what's in here. I think I might have started these already. See, I get halfway and then I don't it halfway and then I don't um, finish it like I get distracted like wait did I do that or did I not do that all right I'm gonna take this out the bag because that makes it bend a lot worse I'm put it in here yeah it's buttons just cute little things. Cute little things that hopefully they'll be able to use. Get these last few bits out. I'm not going to fill them all the way up to the top. But one, I don't got that much do that. But, well, I do. But by the time I get done filling, I'm not going to have nothing left. But I'm going to fill them up a good amount so they'll be able to at least have some fun with it. And I'm going to grab my other doodad bag because these things are too big to fit in there. Let's 
see. Let's see, here's some right here too. And then I'm gonna go grab it. Just get these little ones out. Start here. That one wants to be a bit difficult. A great way to fill your fill your little rack bag up is to give little tiny things like this. Okay. I'll be back. You guys won't be able to hear me from the garage. But keep yourself company. I'll be back. Did you miss me? Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> All right. So, oops. Where we left off is there. And then I'm going to have one more. I like doing it this way. Like, um, I like to... Hold on here. What was I doing? This goes over there. I like to set it all up so that I can have a quick assembly line. That's good like that. And then this last one. That's pretty. Let's give this one a little bit more love in the doodad department. No, I'm just <laughs> Stuff falling out everywhere. That's okay. It's all for the cause. Okay. Let's get these little bits in there. All right. And then let's get this back on. So those are all done. So, so I think we're just about finished with everything here. Um, unless I have one more, one more thing to get. Hold on. All right. I got these cute little bottles, these tiny little mists, and they, I, you know, I can't even remember who who I first saw these with but she had given it to us in a swap as a goodie I want to say it's Jody home and hearts but I'm not sure but anyway these little containers and they had little bitty things of um dye not dye mist and I thought that was such a great idea to sample you know a product I'd like to give a sample I think I have poured a little bit too much I have I'm gonna pour a little bit out so that the nozzle can fit in and I got these off of Amazon perfect and then they just spray and what I just put in there is my homemade shimmer mist and I have a tutorial on how I make these so uh, I'll try to remember to link that below but I got these little misters from Amazon I thought they were a great idea so I found them one two I'm gonna make three of these real quick three or five not three of those make I don't know why I said three I don't know I don't know where that came from sorry but um but yeah i'm just gonna fill these up part way put my little thing in listen for the click boom really easy really fun and they were very they weren't very expensive so i can't remember oops after small and then if I remember correctly this emit a lot of little spray this little little bottle missed it out a lot oh that's a dag nab I'm trying to fit a I'm trying to fit a bottom onto a top and that's not healthy there we go now where's the little lid I must have put them away let's see those are all bottoms can't do nothing with that 
But I know I need a lit. So where are you guys? Oh, there it is. Nope. Okay, we'll move. We're moving on. All right. Almost there, guys. Listen for the click. So one, two, three. I have to make. There's the lid. Four. And one more. Okay. So that the recipient can get a few pumps of this iridescent shimmer. Okay. That's it. And I've made a nice little mess. Congratulations to Mika. All right. Let's take the four of these away. I've got a little container over here that I'm shoving stuff in. So I can make my little assembly line. Okay. What's included in this box? I kind of thought if I should cover this up with paper or not, but I don't have much 12 by 12 that would match. I don't have any 12, I mean, um, 8 by 8 to match. So I'm thinking I'm going to put shredded in it on top instead. So, did I do a video on these? No. I don't think I did. But I made these. I posted on Instagram. That's what I did. I made these cute little tote bags. Um, to I altered these tote bags. And they came from Walmart I believe. Let me show you the rest of them. But yeah I posted them on Instagram. Because I made them when I was at work. They were really fast to make. Use all my little laces. Look at that. Super pretty. So I tie some laces. I just gathered lace from my stash. All, all the other things. And these little things came from um, when I was in L.A. <laughs> when I was in L.A., girl. Um, these were a monkey to get apart, too. They don't look at this jumble. Look like I didn't gnarled on it with the, my teeth. But I cut all these little pieces apart. And, um, and I put them on here. So that's one. And then remember I bought that lace cloth, that material. I cut out all these little appliques, layered it with a bunch of lace after lace. I made these flowers. I only made two because I just, it was the most. So, um, yeah, I added that with some of the other lace that I purchased from downtown L.A. This one, I have a cute little bowl with the applique on there. And then this one super pretty a bowl this one is so so cute browns and creams and neutral tones one two three four I'm missing one here we go so I made five here's the other one five so super pretty so I got all my like elements that I have made so um so here we go I want to put a little goodies in here because the, the recipients that are receiving these boxes are getting just handmade items so I'm bring I'm bringing out these jot pearls they came from the Dollar Tree flatback pearls that we all love and I'm just gonna fold it and then cut it you need to cut it I don't know why that song is in my head I'll cut it in half and then I'm gonna put it in a I'm gonna put it in a bag so they don't get all in the disarray how cute is that so that's gonna go in there and then I'm gonna put I have this hello beautiful bag they can leave it like this put their little if they're planners they can put their planner the makeup little stuff in their purse that's gonna go in here as well because I need this box to be as flat as possible so put that in there along with that and then also this washi tape I got from Daiso and put some of that in there 
right there and then that little uh the little spritz homemade shimmer it's gonna go in there and I got these little containers from the Dollar Tree but I added some of the glitter from the Target spot which I love to like sprinkle on packages and put that in there just little touches guys I'm pretty sure that whoever you're gifting this to will think the gesture is enough so that's gonna go like that see what I mean when I have to tie the edges this is not flush against the bottom it's okay and then I got <coughs> excuse me and then I have my I'm gonna put these clothes pins in I had already had these already together and they're gonna fit like that I think and then I made these I put them on Instagram as well see oh Instagram is <coughs> excuse me hold on I gotta get some water real quick hold on see what I was gonna say was Instagram is lit we do a lot of crafting on Instagram just quick little snippets and then I don't know have I has this up is this up this might be up I'm not sure it's a wood slice that I altered if it's not up it will be coming up and then the pocket O little treat box now I got to rearrange this because that's not working out let's put that there and let's put this underneath here that way okay we'll put the little pouch here that's gonna have to go at like a little bit of an angle because it's not flush it's not flat I'll put these here and then cute little tassels yeah these are tassels when I went to LA I got the uh, <laughs> yeah um, the little bead caps and then I got the trim the tassel trim and I just shut glued it and squeezed it you know twisted the trim and kind of shoved it up on the inside there and that's what I did use some embossed paper and then some chunky glitter paper for the topper just cut a little slits and pinned them on the back so the recipient can put these on a the charm or what have you okay I think that's so cute it's my little thank you box and then I got some shredded or I don't know crumpled paper from the Dollar Tree that I'm gonna put on here just to add some fun Just a little fun, just a little fun. All right. I think that's enough fun. That's just a lot of fun. Kind of want to distract from what actually is in there. So, you know, it's kind of like, ooh, what's in there? Okay, let's move this up some. There we go. And then, <clears throat> that's fun. Okay, and then I'm going to use a tag from the swap that I just did so this is the pocket tag swap super cute vintagey I love it this says and it happens to say thank you so yes love it so um hold on I need my planner so I can know who this is for all right I'll be back after I fill this out okay so that's done and that's just gonna sit right on top of there how stinking cute is that absolutely love it so hopefully the recipient can use the ultra bag and the and the tassels and the um, slice use all the little knickknacks in here we use the box and reuse the bag so hopefully she'll like it this person means a lot to me she's super special and uh, yeah hopefully she'll like it I'm gonna lay that the long way like I said this was going to be not as flat so that's why I I got my tape ready to tack this bad boy down boom all right I'm just gonna get a little piece on this side I don't want them to have to struggle to get it open. 
but I do want it to have some some support. So that's how this box is going to be, although I feel like this is a smidge off. There we go. That's better. All right. Now that's going into um, a padded envelope, which here it is. A priority padded envelope. Stick this in there. I have a bunch of these on hand because I use them for my swaps and such so I always have a case lying around and this is perfect for that it fits in there with a, a little elbow grease a little love a little patience it'll fit something's been happening with the USPS tape situation like the tapes half on half off half sticky so I've been having to add my own tape to like all my swap packages it's like I want to complain y'all said this was the tape already I'm, you owe me I know these are free but this is doing the most so one package down I'm gonna put a little write the name of the recipient on here so I don't forget that's done so I'm going to do four more like that um, using the same supplies. I'll show you. I'm going to use these tags and I just happen to have them in here. These are from Letitia who is um, uh, uh, My Little Sweet Peas. And then I'm going to use the other one from, gosh I can't remember who that thing, uh, Michelle. Michelle Randolph did these so I used the other one of hers. And then, and I, gosh, I seriously can't remember who did these, but they're super cute. So I'm going to use this one too. So I'm going to put that in the rest. And then here is, you guys have seen it. I'm going to pack it up, but because this video is almost already at 57 minutes. So, um, so yeah, there's the rest of my four bags, my four tags, my four pouches, my other um, two, one, two, there we have three, four clothes pins, right, my other three, four tassels, one, two, three, um, I'm missing one. Did I only make four of these? I'm pretty sure I got them somewhere. Here's the other ones of this, the cute little altered wood slices, and I got the rest of the I feel like I'm missing like the rest of my stuff here but I got the other four of the little jars and four of these little jars so all I'm missing is one of these little um, right one of these little bag who was in this bag oh the washi the pearls the glitter. Oh, and the um, and the little there's some more washi. The little uh, hello beautiful, fabulous. The little I don't know what those are. Canvas bags. Canvas bags was in there. The pearls, the washi, this, and the spray. And then we have the clothes pins, the tassels, this, and then these. So I need to find one more of those and we'll be good to go so I'm going to do that and then I may come back depending on how long this video is and wrap the other set of gifts that I have 
all right I will do that and I'll be back okay so I am done packing all of those boxes so excited so all five of those are going out tomorrow I'm so happy can't wait till the recipients get them so I'm also sending out just little um um goodies to one two three four five other people so um just to say thank you you know and and I'm wrapping it up so they have most of the stuff is the same the dyes are different I think and then I'm sending something extra to this particular person I'm going to show you this so you you may those of you who know me know that where this one may be going to so I'm going to show you I found these socks they're super cute I'm going to take the price tag off but I found these socks at Walmart and I saw them and I was like oh that is perfect for this person so even with the color scheme the it's perfect for this person so these are socks this is what the socks say you figure out who this belongs to but be that as it may there we go so what I'm gifting this person is these socks everybody will get some of these uh, shabby chic um, envelopes or, or bag treat bags so it's like six or so in there and then they'll get the pack of pens um, this pack of gusset bags with the um, twist tie and I think there were 40 in here I want to say there are a lot in here I, I was gonna see how many sheets in there but behind this 45 and then some um, crochet trim I remember I had to I had to open up this crochet trim to get it in my luggage when I came back from LA um, so some other bags some double-sided tape this person's getting this die it says smile hello live laugh love happy um something else sweet fun and then this um, unit that they can alter and hang up put stuff in so i thought that was pretty cool so i am just literally going to so it doesn't take much i mean just to send send a little happy mail so like i said my goal is to send something to somebody every month just to cheer up somebody's day put that in there I was gonna try to get this uh, yeah I'm gonna take this tag off put it in another bag although if they're watching this video they know I got this from Tuesday morning it was 99 cents but none of that matters because this is good red tape and I'm giving five rolls away you know how much you know how much I need tape so you must know I love you all right this is ugly so we're just going to take that out and then just put this in there okay so that's just going to go like that okay gonna pack it up really cute really quick I mean I mean cute stuff too but quick and I'm gonna grab some of my pretty washi pretty washi I'm gonna grab well pretty washi but my pretty wrapping paper gold and um, white the gold foil white background scallop edge yes wash uh, washi oh my gosh tissue paper I have some washi tape and gold that I want to add. I just don't trust washi. I think washi is decorative tape. Like all my washi falls apart when I when I do stuff. Like I swear, it's just like, hey Tamika, did you buy the cheap washi and send it? No. <laughs> so that's just for decorative purposes. I'm just gonna fold this over. I'm gonna put that in a clear bag. One of these large ones. They'll still fit in the um, 
priority padded envelope. Just put it this way. Before I do that, I'm going to use this card, this tag. Let's say thanks again from the same swap. Oops. I think it's appropriate and it's super cute. And then I'll let the recipient keep these extra ones for themselves because I don't need all of these tags. Just say what I need to say what I need to say. I'm going to write on there's just so many options to write on. So I'm gonna put this one here. Leave that thanks in there. And then just in case, I was gonna write on here, but just in case they want to um, resend it, I'm gonna write on this one and stick it in the back. And then put this one, put these back here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna write on this and I'll be returning shortly. All right, I'm all done and I wrote her name right at the top. So when I put it in there, I'm just gonna pull that up so she'll see to pull this. So recipient, when you get this, these are extra for you to use if you want to re-gift this tag. Okay, so I left the thanks alone. I just put it on this tag up here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is place it right on top like so and then put it in the bag all right this one is on its way and like I said there's four more just like that um, that I'm doing and they're all pretty much the same that like I said the only thing that differs is the die and that this person got that extra little sock gift so I lied. Uh, besides the difference in the tag and the die, uh, some of them will be getting a 6x6 paper pad. So I think that's it. I honestly think that's it. I'm not coming back and sharing nothing else because I just keep lying to you guys. I lie. I lie. Thank you guys for sticking out with me this long. Hopefully I've inspired you to do something. I hope I didn't run some people away that thought I was a little crazy on my comment chat with me video. This was a little raw and uncut, but I love it. Let me know if you want me to do more like this, and I will see you guys next time. Like the video if you like it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.